Hey there, YouTube. Stonewall176 here. Just ignore the camp studio thing in the top right corner. This is Stonewall176 here with an Adobe Photoshop tutorial on how to do the Sin City effect. Let's, since I did my first tutorial on how to do the Sin City effect in Sony Vegas, I thought it was only fitting to show you how to do it in Photoshop too. A lot of people think this is a difficult process, but it's actually very easy. As you can see, this is the Sin City effect. Same thing as last time. So yeah, just gonna delete this. Now you're gonna wanna open your picture. I'm gonna use a Jimmy Page and Robert Plant figure right here. Yep. Okay, now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go down to this little icon on the bottom. It'll say create new fill or adjustment layer and click on it and go to gradient map. Now it'll make everything black and white. Now take out, now, yeah, zoom in a little, whatever. Zoom in. However much you want, just zoom in. And take out your brush tool. B on the keyboard, right here. And take um. Oops. And take a mechanical brush, and just make the diameter sent by big, like 45 or something, should be good. And now, put the foreground on black. As you see, when you brush. And just brush. So you see with that, it'll make it colorful. Then if you switch it around to white, and you brush, it'll make it black and white. So that's good for undoing mistakes. Just little minor mistakes. Fix up your edges in the end. So yep, just go to black. And all you have to do is just brush over your rent, brush over your picture. Ah, uh, whoops. You know, since I don't want to do that all over again, I'll just go like this. See, that's the beauty of the white option. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be doing this just very roughly. Just for the sake of tutorials. Now, I'm just saying, but you guys should really take your time when you're doing this to get a good outcome. And not something that looks like crap like mine's going to look like. Ever just and you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard, which is next to the P, to just get some good sc scale down brushes, and then just yeah get a better fit on there. That looks pretty decent, and then yeah just brushing on in, brushing on in. This is just bored. Uh, yeah, I keep spacing out when I'm doing this. This is actually my second take because my cam studio closed before I could save the file. So yeah, I got pissed <laughs> and whatever. So yep, this is actually my second take of doing this tutorial. Which is why I already had the first picture done. And yeah, I forgot to mention this. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS4 Extended. This should work with either CS3 or CS4. Don't quote me on that because I'm not positive. I'm no Photoshop expert, but I know a few things. And yeah, this is pretty easy. Just That was pretty crappy. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm going through these long no talking periods. But I'm just seriously spacing out here. Just got nothing to talk about because it's a pretty boring process. So as you can tell, all you got to do is brush over your picture. 
nothing too exciting about that at all. Now again, you're going to want to really magnify this and go over the finer points with a really small brush. Just get your picture perfect if you're a perfectionist like that. But since I'm not, I'm going to leave this as is, basically. It looks fine. So let's go back to our zoom tool. Six six point seven. As you can see, that actually looks pretty rocking right here. You can tell this is pretty good. There are a couple parts where you can see it leaks through, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Now, if you wanted the opposite way, where only the background was background was colorful, and this layer, well, and Jimmy Page was black and white, then go to again. Uh, the same thing you did on the bottom and just click invert and oh crap that did not work like that <laughs> It actually did not work the way I thought it would Just delete the invert layer you stupid uh, Crap just um Just go to I'm actually not even sure how to do this Black and white, maybe? Uh, no. Uh, no, just... Um... Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure how to do this besides the way that I did. Yeah, I guess that's I guess all that I know. Hmm. Thought I knew how to do that, but I probably should have checked first. <laughs> oh well, yeah, well that's it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out some of my other tutor tutorials. This is Stowball One Seven Six saying, "See you later, YouTube." This has been a tutorial on how to do the Sin City effect in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Alright, see you see you all next time. Goodbye.